guys my name is yogesh sharma and today i am going to create a video to use file upload control in asp.net web form in this video tutorial i will explain that how we can upload a image file on your web server it's a very simple task but in my another forthcoming video i will explain that how we can upload our image into our database how we can delete that particular image from database and your image folder as well so let me create a new project here i am going to take a asp.net empty website okay and the my website name would be file upload example okay taking some time okay so my solution explorer has has been opened in this solution explorer we have all the files re related to our project okay so here i am going to create a new folder which is responsible to store all the images and i want to give the name that is images okay let me create a new web form by using the add option and add new item you will create a web form file upload example everything is fine so here you can see that uh, i have created a new form that is a web form file upload ex in this web form i am just going to add a control that is the file upload control file upload control in asp.net web form is actually the control html control input type equal to file okay so it means that this control will be converted at the client side into input type equal to file so let me create or add a file upload control to upload my file i want to take a button control i want to give the text for this button control that is upload image first of all let me show you in in browser as i told you this is a input type equal to file and uh, input type file uh, equal is a html control the control has been created so at the button click of upload image i will write some code to upload the image okay first of all i have to check that file is selected for the uploading or not check file is uploaded or selected into file upload control okay to check it we have a property that is a file upload one dot has file it will return it's a boolean property it will return true or a false it means that if you if a user has been selected the file then it will return true if user not selected the file then it will return false to show the error i am just taking a label control where i will display that the what is is going what is happening so first of all i want to i want to make my label control empty by using label1 dot text equal to empty string okay so here i am going to give a error message label1 dot text dot text uh, label1 dot text and please 
select and file okay so let me show you it's working or not you can see here by paste source you will get the control that is the input type equal to file okay so it's not a very uh, meaningful thing here I'm just selecting I'm not selecting the file I'm just click on the upload image then you will get the okay level one does not exist okay what is good okay I didn't save it so after the saving it then you will get the output if I click on upload image then you will find a error message that is please select and file and if I select the file I'm just taking a picture from my my pictures folder man one then you will find the message has been deleted from here or invisible so now I want that the user can upload files of extension JPG PNG or GIF now the thing is that you have to get the extension of the file which is uploaded by the user so get to get the extension of the file I'm just creating a variable with extension and uh, we have a namespace to get the file extension that is system.io.path.get extension and uh, here I want to set the file which is going to upload it by using the file upload one dot file name okay so in level let me show you the extension of the file now execute it again then you will find the extension of the file okay just selecting the file here you can see I think this is the JPG file I selected and open click on upload image then you will get the file extension this code is just for the checking that file extension is getting or not now I want to set a condition that user can't upload another extension file I want to set I want to set condition for image type or you can say file type okay here I am taking extension equal to equal to I am taking the comparison operator and uh, I am just taking the jpg file and not and I am going to take or condition extension equal to equal to png file I just want to check only two uh, file types that is jpg and png if you want to get or if you want to set the another condition you can write this uh, just write the or condition extension equal to GIF anything whatever you want uh, okay let, let me take extension that is GIF everything is fine if the uploaded file is not this extension then you can see or you can set a error message into the level that is image type can be jpg png and gif okay uh, let me take uh, another kind of file just i'm taking the double pp it's a text file now click on open open and upload image then you will get the error message that image type can jpg png and gif you selected a jpg file then the, this error will be invisible okay after getting the extension you are going to upload a image into this images folder to get the images folder on the server we have a method it means that here i am getting the i am trying to get folder path string path I'm just taking the string path okay and how I can get the string path or the folder path we have a method that is a server dot map path in this map path 
I will take images okay I'm just taking like this and uh, I want to show the path into level control okay execute it again I'm just taking any file upload image then you will find the complete actual path of your application here you can see that my image will be uploaded from the from the images in the images folder so it means that I have to set the uh, arrow or you can say slash I'm just taking two slash because single slash is considered as a escape character into the string so I'm just taking two slashes and refresh it then you will find a slash after the images it means that new images will be added from this after this slash okay so I'm getting the path now I'm just saving the image save image okay file upload one dot save as in this save as I have to set the path where I will set the image and uh, another property is the file upload dot file name everything is fine and after saving the file you can see you can set the message saved now execute select any file I'm taking man1 then upload image you can see the output it means that your file has been uploaded on your server so let me refresh it then you can see the man1.jpg has been uploaded now if you want to upload uh, another image just select the image like here I'm taking woman open upload image now refresh it then you will get the image okay now the problem is that if I selected a uh, that file that that is already uploaded on your server just like I'm taking here man1 which I already added now selecting the man1 then click on upload image then what you will see here the new image will not be added and the last image has been removed from your server that is the problem so what is the solution to uh, to overcome from this problem actually the problem is occurring due to the you know do uh, the same image name so I have to set the image name so what is the method to set the image name let me show you we have a concept in C sharp that is the GUID number GUID number is generated by the system and the GUID number will not be duplicate in any condition because it is generated by the server and ser the server will not repeat the GUID number ok I am just taking GUID and uh, GUID uh, can be generated by this uh, static method uh, you have to write uh, the class name and after the class name you are calling the static method and you are converting the result into the string and uh, passing this string variable here I want to set the image uh, file name just write like this um, string image name ok so image name should be GUID plus file upload one dot file name so it means that my image name would be GUID it have the GUID as well as file name so there will not be any kind of chance of duplicate file name ok so just select and change over here image name image name ok now run it again select the file with the name man1 open upload image then you will see the output saved and you can see here the image name has been changed now so images settle after this string so you can see this is the GUID number and GUID number will not be repeated in any condition ok I am just adding the same image but this image will be uploaded successfully because the image name has been changed now ok so in this video tutorial I explained that how we can upload images 
on your web server in my next video i will explain that how we can upload the images in your database table and your images folder if you want to download the source code of this uh, uh, this uh, video tutorial you can go with my website that is a uh, yogesh.net.com in this website you will find all source code or video tutorial source code over there okay thanks for watching this video